Hello, all Supernatural fans. Here is the second video that I promised from my first video when I did on the props uh, on our very special car. I did a video on this car here a while back. I didn't like the way it came out. It was shot at 2.30 in the morning and I really wanted to go into a little bit more detail about stuff. So here is this video. This video is on our special car, which was a screen used car owned by Jeff Budnick. Uh, Jeff traded this car to my buddy Davis, David Atchison, uh, who I call Super Dave. And um, I think Dave did a 55 Chevy. I don't know if any cash was involved or if they just swapped cars. I can't remember that because we were at a bar drinking when the deal went down and I was more concentrated on my, my liquor than I was a car deal. Uh, the car came, it was a basket case and um, Dave wanted us to restore it. So we did. We're gonna talk about, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the engine. The engine in this car is a 502 cubic inch Chevrolet big block. The difference between this engine and the original uh, engine that's in Hero One that is owned by Jensen Ackles slash Dean Winchester is that the original engine in Hero One was a Gen 6. This is the like from 1970s uh, 454 in this. And the reason why is that you have to have an, an original 1967 oil pan uh, to, to put in these cars because of the steering, the linkages that go underneath. And unless you get a custom made pan or something like that. But the uh, stock oil pan on, from a 67 big block will not go onto a Gen 6 motor. So what did Jensen and Supernatural, you know, Jensen's car that Supernatural did, uh, the original Hero 1, what did they use? They used the stock Gen 6 pan, but they beat the living hell out of it with a hammer. And, uh, and that's how they got it to go. And I refused to do that. I was like, nope, you can get a leak. I just, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. So I told Dave, I said, let's compromise because we always run 454s in our cars. And uh, so we did. The engine was bored out to 502 cubic inches uh, and set up. And, and like I said, I think this car is 500. I want to say 535 horsepower. I could be off on that, but for some reason, that's the number in my head. Uh, the original Hero 1 car doesn't run really, really well, or I should say to its full potential. Now, it would be great if you took it on a track and just opened it up and let her go because the heads are, they're too big for it. They're not a real streetable head. It's kind of like a race head. And that engine actually came out of a, a boat. And, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, just more nickel in the block. So we matched the heads by running uh, an Edelbrock head so they match Hero 1s. The radiator, we normally run, I like to run the aluminum radiator to make sure this thing always runs cool, but Dave was pretty insistent that he had to have a stock radiator to match Hero 1, so that's what's been done. The radiator hose, does anybody recognize that? Because it is not a stock Chevy big block radiator hose. It's from something else. And what is it? I'd like to hear your comments below. Uh, the car, the fan shroud has been split and it has these goofy looking self-tapping screws and uh, put in there, a little small one and a big one. And that is the way it is done on Hero One, folks. They used a small block fan shroud. That's what we did. And it's chewed up at the bottom from the fan flexing out on it, just like the original Hero One. It has the first roll control. It has the small block Chevy uh, throttle arm. Now, Hero One's is actually kind of rusty, but it was originally black, so that's the way we did it. Uh, we ran the Mallory distributor cap on it. Uh, basically, we cheated. We took a standard red HEI uh, distributor and we put the Mallory cap on top. And, you know, now the original uh, Jensen's car now has an MSD, I think it's MSD uh, black cap on it but we kind of went old school with this. Uh, look at those uh, battery terminals, uh, cables. 
super thick, super thick. I mean, look, here's my, put my finger down here for this. I mean, this thing is huge. And that's the way they are on Hero One. Now, one of the things that we did different, uh, a little different, we uh, ceramic coated the exhaust manifold so they wouldn't turn rusty. But they're the same manifolds and stuff like that. So, as for the outside of the car, it is done exactly like every one we've ever done, which is done the way standard body work, and, you know, disc brakes on the front, 12 bolt posi in the rear. Uh, the original Hero 1 does have 411 gears in it. On this, we run 355, it's just treatable if you want to take it out. It's just not running so tight. There is the original double strap. This deck lid was a little tweaked and we left it that way. Um, because that's the way it was and we just like I said we try to keep things original as possible uh, like I said in my video last night the uh, weapons box was not in the car because they're not they were not in all the cars and so we put the weapons box in it for Dave so there it is like I said everything just like we've done on all of our other cars now I want to come in and talk to you a little bit about the interior So people have said that I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm lying, blah, 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 whatever. Believe them if you want. If you don't, you know, if you want to hear the truth, this is it. Um, the carpet for the back has lines in it. And Hero One has that. Not all the cars had that. Uh, in fact, I, I just know of Hero One with this type of carpet. And it's the same carpet that it was used in the back in the weapons box. So it makes sense. A lot of the cars just had a speaker box black carpet uh, back there. And you know, either way you go, you're, you're all right. But Hero One had this. Then we were gonna talk about the speakers. Uh, these are the correct speaker grills for the car. And they are made by Hertz. We're going to have a, um, speakers in the car where the original car did not have speakers and so but we ran speakers in it so that way our um radio and everything plays and the original car had a system there's a um like tubing back here and it comes around and there was like a heat box back here underneath the package tray and and it would blow warm air up or it was supposed to i don't think it ever really worked but it was supposed to help defrost the windows. So we're gonna come up here and talk about a little bit in the interior. The original Hero One in interior, I don't know if many people knew this, if they do or they didn't, but it was blue. And then it was sprayed with the buckskin. Uh, and that's what we've done. This car was originally, we got lucky that the original door panels and all that stuff were blue. Um, and you'll see down here that this is all warped and everything and we left it because they were the original door panels so there was blue in this car which is great it did need a new headliner so i ordered the correct headliner for the car and i ordered it in blue to keep up with our theme and if you guys ever get the privilege to see jensen's car if you ever look up unless he has it restored uh you'll see blue rubbing through on some areas so that's the, what we did. The uh, car has the uh, audio box Rampage AV2000 radio in it, which is the correct radio. You will notice that it has like these little turner knobs back here, okay? And Hero One has that. I believe it was only Hero One that had that. And so we, we found those and we put those on and to match Hero One. And I think the reason they did that was because this radio is narrower than a stock 67 radio and so you have to enlarge those holes a little bit and maybe this i mean it does help hide them so that is my theory behind that i i do not know i might be talking out of my ass but that is my theory and it and it's very logical uh you also notice this like little silver hole right there hero one is the only car that had that do you know what it is? If so, comment below. Um, the Hearst roll control switch, 
Hearst designed it to go here on the shift lever, and that's where Supernatural originally had it. The Jensen, from my understanding, kept kind of bumping it, and he just didn't like it there. So he requested it, it could be moved. And Jeff found a new switch, and it's there into the turn signal. And that's where it is to this day. So you just push this little button right there, and that would lock up your line lock and stuff. The uh, switch is still made today. However, they changed the design so it looks a little bit different, but the same function and everything like that. And we were very fortunate to get that. Um, trying to think, is there anything else kind of special? You know, it's got the the Craco floor matches before. Oh, you'll see gauges. The gauges on this car are not in Hero 1, but I just tell people you're stupid if you don't want to run gauges. Now, if you're running a car and you're using it for car shows, if you're doing it for Comic Cons, and that's its main purpose, do you need them? It's wise to have them in there, but not the the main focal point and you you know you can get away with it I mean these cars in 1967 came out with just dummy lights so but I like to know what my oil pressure and my water temperature is doing and my good buddy Kevin Zimmerman uh, he had his gauges he painted this uh, the buckskin and then he had like a hinge on it so when he did shows he could flip that back up underneath the dash and then when he was out going to out drive his car, he just flip it back and it comes down and out of sight, out of mind. And, you know, but driving, he had the ability to see what was going on with his motor and stuff or his engine. And uh, so you will see like on the pedals, overspray on pedals, boys and girls, that's the way it is. And they, they did not take that stuff off. They sprayed and got these cars. Um, so they could, you know, get them on set and stuff. Uh, Hero One, all the seat belts in the Impalas have your standard GM uh, turquoise uh, push button buckle, except for Hero One. And Hero One has those in the car, except for the driver's seat. And the driver's seat has the coach. Don't know why, maybe they just ran out of buckles. I don't know why that is. But I wanted to make sure that that was put into um, this car. Like I said, I went through all my notes, all my photos from being up on set. And really, there's like I said, there's things like I would have never done a radiator uh, shroud that way. Um, there's just some things that I just would not have done on anybody's car. But because this car was a screen used car uh, and... Dave wanted it as humanly close as possible to the original car. I, you know, I was like, okay, only this once, you know, and I would not recommend anybody doing that kind of stuff, what I did to this car. But because of the stature of the car, I allowed it because uh, I'm pretty uh, anal when it comes to builds and um that's the way it goes you know so the car is it is what it is folks um she's nice is she perfect i mean you know no because none of the cars on set were perfect uh one of the other things hero one has tan seat belt retractors and, uh, and I forget a lot of that times when I'm doing because all the other cars have black, so they've always been black. And I was going through my notes, I was like, oh, shit, about that. So, um, like I said, they're, they're a nice car. They're like a driver. Uh, even this car, it's not like it's 1,000. You know, like if you took this to a GM show where you're getting judged on stuff and and everything being crisp and clean and this it no i we tried to match the original cars you know and then this like i said this was a screen used car and stuff but i just didn't i never want the cars to look like they you just went to the factory and bought one off the showroom floor because that's not the way they were so 
It's a beautiful car. And I'm sure Dave's gonna be very happy with it. There's talk, Dave's thinking about selling it, and then part of him he doesn't want to. And the car's dirty. Uh, I apologize, but last night I came in, washed it, waxed it and everything. And then we had a very special uh, photo shoot today with a, a girl from Senior Pictures. Her father and her were big Supernatural fans. They always watched it. And her father passed away. And they had reached out to me and said, you know, could you help us? You know, you have a car that we could, you know, do some Senior Pictures with. And I'm like, oh, do I have a car for you? And now normally I ask permission. Like I, but me and Dave are really close friends and I would say, Hey Dave, is this okay? And stuff. But I just said, no, you know, Dave, this is what we're doing. And he was like, yeah, man, I get it. You, you do it. And so today we had thunderstorm after thunderstorm and it was muddy. And so we had got the car out and did some shots. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, Rihanna Melton, a good friend of mine came down and did these photographs for this girl. I suck. I suck at filming guys. If you think I'm a photographer or a camera operator oh boy you should be able to tell by my videos and stuff uh, but Rihanna is like awesome at it and Rihanna is also the one that does our devil's traps for our customers cars and stuff and she just knocks them out of the park very talented young lady and uh, she came down she took these photos and we had the car sitting out where it is right now and I'm gonna kind of come back here to the angle where Rihanna was and you guys go over to my Facebook and I'm gonna show this or uh, the uh, there's a 67 Impala four-door page that I run. But anyway, their train was going by, which was very cool because when the Hero One did a shoot, there was a train going by. So I thought that was really cool. And then lightning came down and she caught it. And, it's, and you can see the reflection on the deck lid. I mean, it's like bright purple. I mean, it's like, we're like, holy crap. I mean, that what a shot. I'm actually gonna have it made into a poster. But uh, the girl came in, we got, uh, it rained on the car and stuff, and we went to a sleazy motel. That's where I take all the girls to a sleazy motel. But it looked like a place where uh, Dean and Sam would sleep, and we did a shoot there, and then we went out to the lake and did a shoot. And the girl just loved it, and she was very excited, and she got to play with the props and, and stuff like that, and it just made her day. And I think it made it more special because I think she kind of realized that her dad was with her. You know, he was here at this time. And, uh, you know, they thanked us, you know, profusely. And I was like, man, you don't have to thank us. I mean, this is what we do as Supernatural fans. And, uh, you know, it's, it's always great to be uh, appreciated. Uh, but on something like that, you know, I'm just like, whatever I can do. The girl was a complete sweetheart her mom and her brothers everybody just so nice so nice and i'm glad we got to do that for him because his car is going to be leaving here very very soon and uh so we got it in so that's why the car is dirty and i did not want to bust my ass cleaning it again just for a video so you get to see it kind of dirty sorry but it was very clean and shiny this morning but after driving in the rain and doing some photographs in the rain and uh this is just kind of way it turned out guys and these cars are so hard to keep clean uh i did it late last night and then this morning when i came in it was covered in dust you know just we we're wiping it down before we even pulled it out to do the the shoot and stuff so uh they're they're a bitch to keep clean so but anyway guys there is our special car i just call this one baby we really don't have a name uh for i named like all the other cars and stuff but since she was screen used and stuff, I just call her baby. And uh, it was a pleasure and honor to get to do this. And I hope you like some of the tidbits of the secrets on doing a supernatural card too. Uh, because I've kept some secrets and stuff and I still keep some. But anyway, guys, we're gonna have a freight train moving in. So I'm gonna call this video as is. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless you all. Love you all. Take care and enjoy our next video.